Hello everyone. In this particular video, I am going to talk about God consciousness. God conscious. What does that mean? Who are the people who have the God conscious? And how we can become a person who is with God conscious. Before I proceed, this is a video related to Hinduism and Hindu Gods. So, if you are a person who is not interested to know all this, you don't have to watch this video anymore. God conscious is a conscious which thinks of that supreme. Simple, isn't it? So, does that mean that people who do prayers, people who go to temples, people who do a lot of social service, are these people God conscious? Maybe, but not everyone. Irrespective of whether we go to temple, whether we do prayers, whether do social service activities, doing a lot of anadhan, irrespective of all this, is there the thought of God in your conscious? If you say yes, then you are a God conscious person. Why do we need to have this God consciousness? What if I don't? Now I am going to give an example where we can distinguish between person with God conscious and a person without a God conscious. Person who has the thought of God, then all the doors for him are open to commit a sin or do a wrong thing, 90% he will never do it. He will never do it because the conscious will say that an invisible entity is watching you. So, he takes a step back and he changes his decision not to commit that sin or not to do that wrong thing. Whereas, a person who is not God conscious, only 10% may be thinking and coming back, whereas 90% will definitely try to get benefited out of that sin or try to do that wrong thing. So, this conscious helps us to lead a life with morals. We don't have to go to temple. Again I am telling you, we don't have to go to temple. But the thought of God should be there most of the time because we are so busy with a lot of other things. Most of the time the thought of God should be there. And that is why our saints, Hindu saints, philosophers, they keep telling this that to get the get this God consciousness they are telling one thing which is don't think that whatever is happening is because of you think that it is happening because of some other power and you are just an instrument in the hands of God so indirectly the saints philosophers are trying to preach this God consciousness, the thought of God. Whether that really exists or not, but if we have that thought, what happens is 99% we are really living as a human being, first thing. Second thing is we try to help others, we try to think 
others when they are in trouble we try to think that what if it happens to me how much pain i will be having these sort of thoughts will come if we have this god consciousness and saints and philosophers as i said they wanted to preach this and those time the people were not listening so they have to prove some miracles they have to do some sort of magic but their objective is they are not magicians their objective is to teach this god conscious so that when we have a very big issue in a family when we can't handle things this conscious will try to give us a support which will try to balance you or try to give the energy or the courage to handle that situation try to think about it what conscious is very very essential so now how how can i be a god conscious person this is also our science have said this before as i said before first point is think that you are just a instrument in the hands of god and whatever happens good or bad it is because of that the second point is these people who wanted to become always god conscious will never compare themselves with others the more we look into other people's families and other people's problems what happens is we are distracted and we lose peace of mind so don't worry about others don't look at others be as you are and think that god is there to guide you god is there to give you support god is there to give you courage for example the thoughts are generated from there within us no one else is going to come and put a different thought in your mind mind is only one mind when it is with good people the mind is good when it sees all good things the mind is always good but when it is with bad people when it is with bad things the mind is also getting bad corrupted but there is no good mind and bad mind mind is only one you are the one who are putting things and making the mind either good or bad so based on our mind the thoughts are generated and you are generating your own thought so when you are in trouble when you have this god conscious thought it gives you courage to handle that situation it's very difficult to understand but this is what the truth is for example let us say you are walking in a forest you can walk with two different thoughts one is like by looking at the na- nature scenarios waterfalls everything you may be enjoying that scenario and keep walking and that time your thought is like what a such a beautiful place and thank god that i have been here to see this if you think like that if you generate your thought like that it is going to be a pleasant walk whereas if you think that oh i am in a forest and what if there is a lion or a tiger walking this way then there is no pleasure there is only pain and who generated that thought it is you no one else so what i wanted to say in this particular video is if you have a god conscious that will give you lot of courage lot of energy and also lot of positive energy first thing is positivity we should think that god is within everyone and that god is watching things so 
I have to follow the rules what a human should follow in this world. Simple. And this is what is the, is the topic about God Conscious. God Conscious is definitely a must for people who wanted to get enlightened in spirituality. To get the true wisdom, knowledge, we need to use our mind, the brain, the knowledge, what we have, and we need to explore things. We need to question a lot of things. And that is why Lord Shiva, I have already mentioned this in a different video, which is in Tamil. Lord Shiva has Ganges. Ganges is water flowing from his head. That represents that knowledge should be like a spring, which has to keep bubbling up, questioning things, understanding things. And at the same time, that knowledge should not be stable. It should keep growing. And that is what his crescent moon represents. Crescent moon. He can have a full moon also in his head, isn't it? The crescent moon ex explains that the knowledge should be also growing, learning more things, getting to know a lot of things. And God conscious is uh, helping people in a lot of ways. I have seen that. And they have lost everything in their life. Still, that one thought, God conscious, that conscious gives them courage to handle everything and those people have come up in life. That's all I wanted to say in this particular video. Please do take care.